Hi guys, <laughs> that's a good start. Welcome to the Tech Diary, or welcome back to the Tech Diary if you've been here before. This is my second channel where I take forever to get to the point and it's a behind the scenes type thing, a, a, you know, an opportunity for me to go a bit more in depth with my reviews and thoughts on products and the industry and all the rest of it. Today, I want to talk about the Mac and this feels like a very, very diary-like video because I'm gonna walk around with you and show you things and talk about stuff. What I want to talk about today, let me just swing you around, is this little fella here. This is obviously, obviously, this is the M4 Mac Mini. I say obviously, it may not be that obvious, but I think if you're watching this, if, if you're watching this channel, and if you've watched my other channel, should be obvious what that is. Let me just reduce this, the height of this desk so I can sit down here. I can already see the comments flooding in saying, you're taking too long to get to the point. I still get those. I still get that stuff on this channel, even though I make it abundantly clear from the start that that is, it's a, it's a rambly channel. Anyway, the Mac. Uh, the re <laughs> What's going on? There we go. <clears throat> the reason I want to talk about the Mac today is because I want to talk about something that I've, I've kind of mentioned on and off over the last couple of years and never really acted on at all, never really kind of kept my word and stuck to. And I think, well, it's, I'm very excited by it, but I think hopefully some of you will be excited by this as well. And I think you'll, you'll want to join me on this journey. So let's, let's add some context to this. So the M4 Mac Mini at the moment is my kind of general do it all studio computer. I come in here most days, not every day, but most days, and if I need to get stuff done, which is obviously why I'm here, <laughs> I sit here and I use that computer to do worky type stuff, email, Slack, you know, strategy stuff, occasionally some content production if I'm editing a, a little thing for the, the next drive, which is my car channel, or various other little bits and pieces, although I don't do, I don't do much editing these days because most of it is, in fact, all of it really is done by Nile. It doesn't matter that, but the, the point being, this is just my general office or studio computer, and it's massively overpowered for it. So it's the M4 Pro chip in there, which you don't need to do that stuff. I've, I've long said that the, the, the base model M4 Mac Mini is possibly the best thing that Apple has ever done. It's such a capable computer. And if you do the kind of stuff that I've just described, even if you do a bit more than that, just get the base model. However, I went for the M4 Pro. And the M4 Pro is designed for slightly more intensive tasks. I didn't go for that version because I'm stupid although some may argue that that is the case. The reason I went for that M4 Pro is because I had bigger plans for it. And again, to put more context around this, something else you can see on this desk is a little MIDI controller keyboard here for making music and all that sort of stuff. And if I actually, if I take you downstairs, don't do this very often, but if I head down stairs we can see something else which is very relevant to this video let's make sure i'm not giving away the address i've got lots of boxes in here basically i don't, I don't want you to see my my home address uh, right not because i don't trust you but you just shouldn't do that on the internet right is this is the other thing i want to show you this is a roland what is it the rd 700 sx digital piano which my dad gave to me many many years ago and it means quite a lot to me that's there. In this cupboard over here, there's various other kind of music related things. You may, you may realize where this is going. Basically, my, most of my life has been dominated by a love of music. So my dad, again, is a musician. He has been for pretty much all of his life. And throughout my childhood, I was exposed to that world and it was amazing you know the world of synths and pianos and live performance and all that sort of stuff and I started working with him from the age of about 12 or 13 in a, in a live um, a live scenario so we'd you know we'd do we'd, we'd gig together basically I'd, I'd be the the roadie slash sound engineer slash lighting engineer and um, I, I did that for years and years and years I eventually played with him on stage which is still one of the most one of my proudest things I've ever done. And throughout that period, so from the age of about 12 to 
probably my late twenties, I've, I've I always had a music studio. So I, I was obsessed with music production, um, purely for my own enjoyment. I never, I never released anything. I, mean, I put stuff on SoundCloud and did the, the usual thing with that, but I never did anything meaningful with it apart from just enjoy making music in my bedroom. I was one of those. Back then, that was quite unusual. It's not unusual now because everyone seems to be a music producer. <laughs> not everyone. You get the point. It's, it's much more commoditized now, if that's the right word. It's much more accessible. You don't need lots of gear that's expensive to do it. Whereas back then, it was quite an expensive and niche hobby, to be honest, but I was massively into it. And then I got towards the end of my 20s and, and life just took over. Life, business, everything kind of went mad. And since then, I've dabbled here and there with it, but I've not really got back into music uh, production. And I've really missed it massively, hugely missed it. And as with everything that I love doing, so cars are, is a great example where I'm a big car guy and I thought, how can I work this into the business? I know, let's start a car channel. And that's what we did. We, we created the next drive, which is, we'll link down below so you can go and check it out if you're, if you're a car person as well. And it was just a way of building a passion of mine into this business and hopefully making a success of it. Now for quite a while, I've been wanting to do that with music and we have tested stuff. So I've done music, I did a music stress test, funny enough, on the M4 Mac, where's it gone? The M4 Mac Mini, both the, uh, the base model and the, well, this one here, the M4 Pro. I did, I did, I did that when that, that computer was released and it worked out pretty nicely, actually. Some nice views. Uh, I did a follow-up as well. I think, did I do it on the, the previous generation Mac Mini? I think I did. This was all on my main channel, by the way, on, on Markerless Reviews. And there's an audience there, clearly. I also covered Logic Pro on the iPad Pro, and that got good views and lots of engagement. And throughout those videos, I kept kind of hinting that I wanted, wanted to, to do more music-related content and never did anything, basically. I, I, ne I never stuck to my word because, again, life, the business, everything took over. Sorry, I keep looking at the monitor down here rather than the camera. That's really bad YouTubing. If it's annoying you, I, I apologise. Um, let me try and stare at the, the lens instead. Um, yeah, so I, I never really kept my word with that. Not through want of, not through not wanting to do it, but just because everything got in the way. I'm happy to say we are reaching a point now with it, with this business where we're planning for the future. And one element of the future that I really, really want to make sure happens is realizing that that dream, if you like, to do something serious with my love of music producing, of DJing as well, which I've, fe I've featured in little bits and pieces in certain videos it's time to start building that into the business. And I'm not sure how we're gonna do it yet. That's what we're kind of trying to work out behind the scenes, but it's part of a much bigger strategy for this business, which is really exciting. I can't wait to share with you. But the reason I'm talking about that today and talking about, again, where is it? The Mac Mini, this one here, is that this will form, let me just show you it rather than me. That's more interesting. So this brilliant little thing, will form the centerpiece of that music production studio. So at the moment, it, it just sits here on this very nice desk with you know some nice Kef speakers and uh, hubs and things and various other bits and pieces, but this isn't being used. That's not being used at all. It's plugged in, but it's not doing anything, which is a waste of money, obviously. But over the next few months, this will transform either here or maybe somewhere else, who knows? Who knows? Um, the other thing that I've got on here, which is definitely worth mentioning, is, not these nuts, is is um, this JBL spinner, which I've had for a little while now. I, I featured it briefly in a, a short form video on, on Instagram, I think. And um, it's brilliant. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Bluetooth, um, what do you call it? Turntable. And again, Many, many years ago, I really got into sampling and using vinyl to sample into, if you're interested, a native instruments machine, which I do have somewhere, I think down in that cupboard. Really got into that, and I wanna get back into that stuff. And I think I can offer value to people who find, who have a love for the Mac and also how that can help you in terms of music production and getting involved in all that, in that kind of stuff. I, th I think I've got a lot to offer with that, but, I need to get back into it. I can't do it. I can't talk about it without the, the, the current knowledge. My knowledge extends as far as about 10 years ago, and then it, it stops pretty much. So um, I do want to get back into it. But that is the, that's the ultimate goal. 
for this computer. And what amazes me about this is that, okay, this, this is the M4 Pro version, but it was still only, in inverted commas, I think 13, 1400 quid that I, I spent on this. It's, it's a little bit spectre, but it's got more unified memory in there. It's got more storage, but it's, you know, it's a very, very powerful and very, very capable Mac for not a lot of money particularly when you compare what that would have cost, the, the power that's in that, what that would have cost 10 years ago, 15 years ago. My first ever, if you're interested, my first ever Mac was a G5 Tower, which I absolutely adored. That was the thing that got me back into Logic because I used to be a PC Logic, Logic Pro user way back in the day. Um, I appreciate, by the way, guys, that not, not all of you will be into this stuff. Some of you hopefully will be, and some, but some of you won't be. So if you've stuck with me <laughs> for 10 minutes talking about this, thank you so much. Um, but I am trying to suss out who of you out there are interested in this because that is a very important audience research tactic. Um, but yeah, my, my first Mac was the G5 Tower. And that was quite expensive in terms of, it was a second-hand unit that I bought, but it was, exp it was expensive and, and nowhere near as pow powerful as this. I, 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 you know, I had to make concessions back then. And that was the thing, you always had to make concessions with music making back then because it, it was expensive to get the computing power that you need. Whereas now, forget the M4 Pro, like I say, just get, if you just get the, the, the base model M4 iMac and maybe add a bit more unified memory just to give, give you a bit more headroom, you can spend a grand. And okay, you need to get a monitor and you need to get a keyboard and a mouse, etc. But you can, let's say all in all, you, you'll spend 1500 quid ish and you'll have an incredible setup that's ready to go for music production. I know you need to add software and, and various little bits of hardware and stuff, but it's the, the, the distance we've traveled when it comes to breaking those, in fact, removing those barriers to creating stuff musically is incredible and that is partly why i mean I, i'm excited to get back into it anyway but i'm particularly excited to get into this new era of music production so the tech stuff is going nowhere this channel's going nowhere in a good way we're not getting rid of either of those uh, the next drive is staying and, and growing and growing but we're adding this element into the business like i say i'm not sure how but I'd love to know if it's something you're interested in. I've asked this several times in the past when I made those other videos that I mentioned a moment ago, and the, the appetite seemed to be there. But if there's one thing this channel and you guys are very good at, it's talking down there in the comment section. And yeah, get involved. Let me know if it's something that you do yourself. Or if, like me, it's something you used to do and then you had kids and a job and a, a, a relationship and everything got in the way of your music production time. If that's you, again, get involved down below. Let's, ha let's have a, a really nice chat about it. That's it, guys. That is my tech diary for today. Uh, I think I'm in the studio again next week, which means I will see you from here again, I think, if that makes sense. But as always, guys, if you've got this far, far in this video, 13, 14 minutes... Um, thank you so much. It means the world. We love making these videos because they're so easy to make and feel so natural and it's just a nice pub chat two-way thing. Not for everyone, but if that's not you, then you, won't, you will not have got this far, will you, at all? Um, anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your week. I'm going to just dream of, you know, getting back into music production and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.